Hi guys, it's me Erin. Uh, I wanted to do a video on my birth story with Nathan. This Friday we have Nathan's nine month checkup and it really kind of got me kind of thinking back to his birth and everything. I just, I can't believe it's been nine months already. But, um, yeah, when I first found out we were pregnant, I just went to, you know, one of the local gynecologists and stuff, and, you know, I'm obviously, you know, pretty heavy, so it just, you know, I was curious about how I was going to be treated by a lot of the doctors, and, you know, I saw a few of them until I found one that I liked, and, you know, they pretty much, the first ones all were just like, yeah, you have to prepare, you're going to get gestational diabetes, you're going to have, like, the, um, you know, pretty much every bad thing, you're going to have to expect it because that's going to happen, and, you know, blah, 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 like, you know, and it just didn't sit right with me that they were writing my fate before giving me a chance to really try, you know? Like, they just assumed so little of me because I was heavy. And so I looked around and, you know, I did want to try doing the natural birth. So that was very important to me and my husband, obviously, where we try to do things a little more naturally and it just freaked me out putting, you know, like something in my spine for the pain and everything and then not being able to feel my legs. It just freaked me out. So, um, we looked around and finally, like, someone told me about a midwife in Wisconsin that we ended up going to. Um, you know, we're in Chicagoland and I pretty much were a little bit further away it pretty much to every local hospital was quite a bit of a drive so we were just like you know we might as well go up to Wisconsin because it, it was about the same distance and I was able to use a midwife and her name is uh, Dr. Kate Haird she does have a doctorate in like nursing and everything and she's a certified nurse midwife and she was absolutely fantastic okay good yeah she was absolutely fantastic and I loved working with the hospital that we did we went with the Aurora Medical Center up in Wisconsin um I can't remember I'll, I'll look it up and put in the comments and stuff below where the hospital was located if anyone is in the area and interested in looking towards that but you know she absolutely worked with us 100%, worked with me, and I never had any issue come up at all. You know, I didn't have uh, gestational diabetes. I didn't have, you know, really any problems at all. And, you know, I was really happy because one of the things that I was researching was I didn't want to have a lot of ultrasounds. It seemed like a lot of the pregnant women that I knew got a ton of ultrasounds, and I told her I didn't. I really just wanted the one, so she gave me like, you know, just a quick one at um, 12 weeks just to make sure because she couldn't find the heartbeat and, you know, everything was good. And then we did the one at, I think it was like 20 weeks or 21 weeks maybe for to find out the sex and doing all the measurements and stuff. And those are the only ones we did. And it was great. You know, I had a great experience there. I highly highly recommend going with you know dr kate if if you can get in with her and then when we went to the actual hospital you know i started laboring at home my um i thought it was so weird like you know when you go into labor they you know say you'll have a contraction for this long and then this it'll be this long in between before your next one and then that's when you should go in my contractions were never consistent you know, it never matched up, like, really with the chart. But, you know, and I never had any of, like, the Braxton Hicks fake contractions toward the end. It was just, like, one day I was just like, oh, that feels different. And 
there we go. And I ended up going to the hospital. I had my birth plan. You know, if anyone wants a copy of my birth plan, I can definitely see if I can make a copy available. But, um, yeah, we went to the hospital, got checked in, got into the room. You know, I labored naturally for about 12 hours and it was fine. Like, I didn't, like, it was definitely painful, but it was, it started out as like bad period cramps and it really wasn't bad. And I loved the hospital that we were in because I didn't, like, I thought about getting a doula, but I didn't need it because the nurses are so, like, baby-based, you know, they're such a baby-friendly hospital that, you know, whatever I wanted, it was done. Like, it was such a more natural hospital, and I loved it. You know, I got their only room that had the labor tub. I loved the labor tub. That really did help a lot with the labor pains, like... I, I sat in the labor tub for over an hour, like, just kind of relaxing and going through, and it was, it really did make it more bearable. And then, after about 12 hours of laboring naturally, I was, like, just at about 10 centimeters dilated, and I never got the urge to push. I, I thought that was, like, really weird, because, you know, that, like, you know, Kate kept coming in and being like, you know, do you feel it? Like, do you... Do you have to push like you're there? You know, you, you should be feeling it by now. And it just wasn't there. Like, I tried, like, you know, getting up, moving around, trying to push, even though I didn't have that urge. And, you know, it just kept progressing. And at that point, it started getting really painful because I was getting frustrated. You know, I felt like my labor pain was tolerable. And it was, like, all in my head. You know, it really wasn't overwhelmingly painful to when I did it naturally but after I started getting frustrated and like feeling like scared because it wasn't going right and I could tell something wasn't right that's when it started getting really painful so you know they brought in one of the other doctors who was just like a regular OBG and you know he took a look and they said at that point you know my two options were to go with the Pitocin to try and force stuff or to do a C-section and at that point I was you know very tired and in a lot of pain I didn't I didn't have any painkillers in me at that point and you know me and my husband talked about it for a while and it I just felt like something wasn't right so we should probably do the C-section and so that's what we did and we went down there, like, they put the curtain up, you know, and everything, and after they pulled Nathan out, and he cried, both me and my husband were crying, and we were with him the whole time, it was, you know, I was really ultimately happy that I knew my body, and I trust my body enough to know that I needed the C-section, because Nathan didn't even make it into the birth canal. He was caught at, like, an angle, instead of, like, going you know, head down and fitting in, he got stuck somewhere. So I was afraid that maybe if I had gone with a Pitocin, then maybe it wouldn't have worked out, you know, and it could have maybe tried to force him into something where it could, could have caused, caused some damage to his neck or his head. Like, I, I just don't know. You never know how those things work out. So, you know, it wasn't what I wanted, but I have a happy, healthy, thriving baby. So I can... I can never be mad. And all I wanted, you know, as being an overweight woman with all these stereotypes and everything that, pe like, people in general, and especially doctors sometimes, put on you, I wanted the opportunity to try. And that's the thing that mattered the most, is I got that opportunity. And I did my best. And I think I did a pretty damn good job. And, you know, excuse me for swearing, but I think I did a really good job. You know, we did what we could. And then after that, I had several appointments with Kate afterwards and you know Kate every time I met with her she was like I'm so sorry that it, you know we had to do a c-section I'm so sorry and I'm just like you know I'm not I'm not sorry because I tried and I did my best and that's what matters you know and I'm really I, I am happy with how everything turned out 
And, you know, I'm absolutely 100% going to be going back to Kate after, you know, me and my husband decide to try and get another. I That is the first thing we both agree. Absolutely, we're going back, going to the midwife, getting, you know, everything done there. Because it was just such a wonderful experience all, all the way up until the end. You know, I loved it. You know, it was the best I could have ever hoped for, you know, and the hospital is great. It's a nice small hospital and, you know, the nurses are all super friendly. Like they helped me co-sleep with Nathan. They put like pillows around to help me and they kept checking in to make sure everything was okay. They were always coming in and out super, you know, there and available. And they had the lactation consultants available 24 hours a day. Like I felt like I was harassing them because I was just like, am I doing this right? I want to make sure I've got this right before we go home. Like I have to get this down, you know, cause I really wanted to breastfeed and everything. And you know, the nurses were all just amazing. And you know, even if I wasn't sleeping with him, like the co-sleeping, he was in his little crib thing that they give you in our room from the, the very beginning, you know, he was always with us. The only time they ever took him away was for the sound test, and he was always right there with us, you know, and it was amazing, the be like the best experience. But, you know, that was it. That's that's Nathan's birth story. That's what I can remember <laughs> nine months later anyway. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and thanks for watching.